What's going on guys? Welcome back. So today is maintenance day. Uh, the weather's kind of yucky outside. It's, uh, it's drizzling and rainy and overcast. So today we are going to catch up on some maintenance in the shop. So first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to finish sharpening up the uh, brush cutter blade. I started sharpening yesterday. And then uh, we're going to get on to an oil change for the k and She's definitely a little overdue for an oil change, so uh, it's time. And, you know, with the weather, we're just going to spend the day here in the shop, you know, tinkering away on some odds and ends. But I uh, figured I'd take you guys along and, uh, and we'd do some. All right, guys. So basically all I'm doing here with a blade is I'm just putting kind of putting a little tip back on the saw blades uh, and cleaning off any debris that's gotten stuck. So I've got my my small flat file here in the holder and I'm basically just taking a few cuts on this and then just kind of cleaning up the backside if I see any burrs from hitting hitting rocks or you know whatever we're just kind of cleaning that up uh, there's I haven't sharpened these blades often usually when they get bad, I just replace them. Uh, for the most part, I haven't had a lot of luck sharpening them, but it's a rainy day and I figured I'll give it another shot. And we'll see if we can maybe get this one back to life, you know, get a little more life out of it. Because these blades are not cheap. They're about 20 bucks a whack. So I hate having to replace them and I usually use them about as long as I possibly can before I do replace them. And the directions actually come on the blade package on how to sharpen them, which is kind of cool. Uh, I do it a tiny bit differently than this just because the way they have you do it in this, it's a lot, lot more filing. Um, so I tend to do, do it slightly different like we used to do back in the old days when we would sharpen our own uh, circular saw blades. So anyway, I'm just going to kind of hammer away at this, guys. Right, guys I'll try to give you a better view here of what I'm sharpening out don't know how well you'll be able to see it but if you look focus if you look at these blades they get basically like flat spots uh, right in the tips here it flattens out so I'm trying to put a tip back on the blade like I have here so that's essentially what I'm doing with all this sharpening is uh, it is very time-consuming with these blades because there's a lot of teeth but we're trying to basically get that that stubbed tooth sharpened again. Alright guys, so uh, got the blade all sharpened up and uh, now we're going to change the oil in the Can-Am. So uh, got the engine compartment open here. The oil filter is down in here and then I got the drain pan underneath. So uh, I'm going to grab something to lay on and uh, get started. Here's the oil. We're gonna let the oil fully drain out and uh, 
and put the plug back in. But I do want to check that the washer is there, so we are good. Now ideally, guys, if it was actually nicer weather, I would have given it a good wash first before I'm doing this, but uh, unfortunately we don't have that option right now. All in all guys, the uh, oil actually looks pretty good. This is actually the first oil change we've done on this machine. Um, it's still technically early. It's only got 500 miles on it and the first oil change is supposed to be a thousand, but it's been a year and a half since we got it. So uh, it's definitely time. I probably should have done it, like I said, a while back, but the oil doesn't look bad. So I think we're okay. So I'm just gonna tighten that drain plug up a little and then we'll do the filter. All right, nice and snug, not too tight. All right, guys. Now we are uh, gonna work on doing the filter. Got my handy dandy light and the uh, filter housing's right there. Uh, looks like a Torx or a 10 millimeter. So let me grab my Torx. Actually guys, I think I'm gonna grab an extension and uh, maybe I'll see if I can get you guys in there a little better. All right guys, so we'll grab the the glove back on. Actually, I probably won't because I think the gloves are more greasy. And now, uh, finish getting the rest of these bolts out. And we can pop this cover off and uh, change the filter. Got one there, but two more here. You can't really see that well, but. Oh, wait, that's not that one. Nope, that isn't one, is it? That is not one. That is for the other cover. Whoops. I want to do that. I thought there was only three. That makes more sense. We'll just pop that one back in. No harm, no foul. And one. there it is, right there. Kind of hidden down there a little bit. And we probably will get a little bit of oil out of this. Uh, but not much you can really do about that with the way this one's set up. Um, I'm going to actually take that bolt out first. It's a little harder to get at. There we go. Two. And three. Now, this does have an O-ring, so I'll make sure that the O-ring comes off because we do have a new O-ring with the filter. I hope you guys can see all right. It's not the greatest visibility in here. Okay, there's the bolts now. See, yep, there's the cover. And there she is. There's the cover. Yep, well, not too much. Alrighty. And pop this filter out. Ooh, all right, guys. There it is. Huh. This does fit multiple kits. Um, I reused the gaskets on ours. Oh, we can't use this filter, guys. It's actually ripped. Look at that. Oh, that's a bummer. We're going to have to put the old filter back in and I'm going to have to order a new one because that is definitely not going to be usable. Absolutely not. That is a bummer. I don't like reusing filters. Um, actually, let me see if I can call. We have a Can-Am dealership not too far. 
I think I'm gonna call them. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, so I just called our local Can-Am dealer, Troy Power Sports, and they have filters in stock. So I'm gonna run over there, grab a new filter. I'll probably actually grab a whole another oil change kit so we have one in stock here on the farm and uh, I'll be back. So this video will continue shortly. All right, guys. So we went, we got the proper replacement filter that is not ripped, torn or anything else from our local Can-Am dealer, which fortunately is not super local. It's about a 40 minute drive. So uh, we got that and uh, now we're gonna put the oil filter in and then uh, fill it up with oil and give it a try. All right, guys. So. Uh, Got our new filter here. We're uh, we're all ready to reinstall it. All right, guys. So uh, now we're gonna fill it up with oil. Um, I believe it takes just over two quarts. So we're gonna put uh, these two quarts in and uh, and then fire it and uh, check the oil. All right, guys. We've run it some. Now we're gonna uh, put the oil back in and see what she looks like. If what we need to add. And it is definitely we need to add some. It looks like about, well, half a quarter or so. So we'll grab some more oil and add a bit and see where she sits now. All right, add a bit more oil here. All right, that's about a third. Let's check that. To fill it up too much because once it gets hot it is going to expand all right guys I think we're in good shape just below the max line as you can see so I think we're in good shape so yeah it takes right about two and a third so that pretty much wraps up our oil change. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, something a little different. Uh, would have liked to get some more done today, but having to run for parts like that always kind of takes a chunk, but we got the blade sharpened, we got the oil change of the Can-Am, uh, and uh, actually the weather's improved some outside. So I might try to go do a load or two of firewood before I have to get the kids. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you like these videos, please subscribe, hit the like button, leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. What do you guys really like to see? Let me know in the, in the comments so the, you know, I, can, I can tailor the videos more towards what you guys want to see. But anyway, just remember guys, it'll be alright.